Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to have a quick video and I'm just going to show you guys how to install the Windows Admin Center so that we can control our nodes and our main cluster and all that good stuff from a nice GUI. And uh, it's nice and pretty and it gives you a bunch of um, options that you can use from there and I really like it. I really like how it shows you uh, what's going on with your servers and what's going on with your clusters and you can create VMs from it and everything so what you're going to want to download is uh, it's called a micro Microsoft RSAT and that's what you're going to be looking for so we're going to click that and here's the top one on our searches download remote server administration tool so RSAT uh, that's the one that we need so we're going to go ahead and download it and we're going to go ahead and download it in English and it gives you a bunch of options but for me for my windows that I have the windows uh, 10 that I have right now I have this this one this 1803 and I want a 64-bit so I'm going to hit next and it's downloading so I'm going to wait for that to be done downloading Alright, so it's done downloading, so I'm going to click on it and I'm going to get it running. It's preparing the install, searching, and it's asking if you want to install this update. And we're going to say yes. Then it's going to be copying a bunch of packages, and I get to hit agree. Doing the update. Alright, looks like the installation is complete here, so we're going to hit close. And uh, now if I hit the start button and I look something like DHCP I still have this DHCP icon and also if you look for DNS you should have the DNS icon and the admin center so you can look for Windows admin center and that's where that's what it looks like that logo so we're gonna go ahead and launch it and I want to add the admin center to my taskbar sir so Windows and I'm going to add this pin to taskbar. Alright, so it's right here. Yeah, I'll put it right there. Alright, so it launched the Windows Admin Center and this is what it looks like. Uh, it shows, um, it, it goes through your browser, so um, mine is Chrome, so uh, this is what it looks like. And it already added the computer that we're working on. Uh, as a connection to the Windows Admin Center, but what we're going to be adding here, we're going to be adding some uh, some servers. So let's go ahead and add some servers, and uh, we're going to look for the home server one. There we go. So home server one. And we're going to also look for another server, our other server, which is home, oops, home server 2. Alright, and then we're going to add another server, which is going to be our DCs, our domain controller. And we're going to add our other go domain controller. DC02. Alright, and then uh, we're going to want to add our cluster, which is main cluster. And uh, main cluster is part of both of these, uh, both these servers are in main cluster. So uh, add, and there you go. Now we got uh, all our stuff added. And if we click on home server one, we're gonna see some bunch of cool stuff about home server one. Uh, and uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, you got your Ethernet, CPU, memory, all this good stuff and you can do just about anything to that server from this Windows Admin Center 
so you can manage a bunch of servers all at once and uh, let's see what our cluster looks like this is the cluster <coughs> So we're running storage spaces direct on our cluster, and it's making that everything, uh, making sure that everything is good, uh, everything is optimal, and yeah, the, all servers are healthy, all the drives are healthy, so there's no uh, one virtual machine running, and that's the virtual machine that we created in the last video. So yeah, that's it for the Windows Admin Center. Till next time.